All right, and we are back. I am Bahamut, your caster. On the left-hand side, we have Team Sky Arc. Uh, this is game number two. I don't know why it says six points, but uh, I'll have to ask someone on Chair League about that. Uh, and uh, on the right-hand side, we have Regen. First ban. We are going to be having Uther actually banned out here. Very interesting. Uh, first ban Uther means that they're... Hmm. They're trying to limit the hero pool for a reason. I'm curious why that is. Huh. There. But Gul'dan will be banned out. First pick Tassadar right away. The first pick here going up against this Tassadar. I wonder if they took the... I don't think they're going to take the Tassadar as a solo laner. Uh, Skyrock is going to be going into their secondary picks. So they're going to be actually picking up the Artanis and the Ariel. It's possible they can con they can show Gaul off of this. I think they're going to show Gaul on the side of Skyrock. It's just it. I don't know. Like it, the way that they've drafted, they've got the Tassadar, they've got shielding, and Tassadar. You know, he does decent damage, actually, as he scales throughout the game. Artanis is a strong solo laner. You've got the Ariel, so then you just four-man with the Tassadar Ariel and Cho'Gal between top and mid. You solo lane with the Artanis. You've got the blinds to mitigate the Vala damage. I think that is a Cho'Gal comp. And the Stukov and the Vala doing the rotations, so it's not what I thought it was. It's going to actually be an Illidan Abathur um, now this is interesting. I think that might be your best choice. You actually go into the Lili here and you just blind the Illidan through the rotations and he's just completely... Nope. The They're going to go for the Nazebo. Alright, so we are going to be going into our second game of the evening. Uh, my scoreboard is, I think, uh, currently bugged, but it is current. It is only one game up, Regen versus Team Skyarch. Now, top is rotated on. The Web Weaver did die, but the Monstrosity is there, so they get the Monstrosity. They kill it right away. Abathur is going to have to use his dig to get out of here. They get the fort right away. Now, Abathur didn't take clone, so they don't have double healer or any of that, but there is the giant blind house. The flail is there to zone some of the members away. Now, Fala is extremely low. She does end up dying here now, and that is going to be the main damage dealer falling, and Illidan is going to get so sticky on some of these members. He does body block the Nazebo. They end up getting the kill onto the Stukov as well. Ooh, no, and they're going to be losing their Arthas, and that is going to be the majority of their gems falling because of the fact that there are no globals. A huge of Vengeance does come down. There is the Metamorphosis from the Illidan, and it looks like he'll actually be Stasis as well. He does dive over the keep onto that backline follow with the Abathur hat, so he is getting a ton of damage here, but the Flailing Arm actually pushes him further back into the gates. There is the blind from the Artanis, but he is already through that duration, so he will be just working on some of these members of regen and they get pushed into their keep gate um now it's still anybody's game at this point but there is a an advantage on their side because of the fact that they have exactly enough return in looks like regen's playing extremely safe at this point they don't want to get caught out by some of the members it looks like they've they've kind of seen what kind of what what they can do with these illidans and these blinds the artanis used the blind against regen and that was the reason illidan started just popping off now the nazebo is getting chased chased down here he is just going to regroup with his team he was going to try and clear up that mid before the enemy team rotated into him but that will not be happening now i'm curious okay i thought they were going to go in for an aggressive flank but they are going to be playing safe here they don't have 16 and the 16s are going to be on the side against them very quickly here now the joanna grab does not work here illidan does go in extremely deep into this he does have an anamorphosis still to use if he needs to get out or even deal more damage there's a stun from the vault the massive the flailing arm misses and they end up getting the kill onto the stukov and that is going to be enough for them on the side of uh team skyark next looks like we're going to be having earth is getting just stuck on by the Odin. he will be backing off not going into the kill 
Now Arthas will be coming back in. He is getting healed up a little bit here from that pathogen. Is there going to be a root onto him? There's a huge double swap onto the Arthas and the Stukov. They're getting so low. Stukov is going to fall right away. There is a blind onto the Arthas. And this looks like it could be a core march at this point. Do they get the Nazebo as well? They get the Nazebo from the dashboard. And that is going to be this Illidan just completely throwing these guys just for a loop. This Illidan has just picked apart regen and I it looks like this is going to be yep so GG's game number two is going over to Team Skyar according to regen's teammates um they said that you guys need to feed more I'm just I'm just a messenger though they said that you'd understand. So, there's that. Enjoy it. I nope. The They're gonna go for the Nazebo. I nope. The I no. The Who's that Pokemon? Greetings, friend. Frogs don't give you words, but this will.